You're watching News 12 New Jersey's Morning Edition. I'm Tony Caputo. And I'm Mizar Tordillo. Hey, folks, we're having some fun. We're wrestling, and we're wrestling safe. We're talking with Peter Ferrero, the owner of the International High Powered Wrestling League right here in New Jersey. Yep. Peter, it's a pleasure. Thanks for your time. And what's going on in, uh, here in New Jersey? As promised, folks, we have a match going on right now. We're going to get to that in just a minute. But, Peter, you do a lot of programs promoting safety and even promoting wrestling in schools. Tell us yep. a little bit about that. Uh, basically, what we've done, and we did, I actually did one in Emerson, New Jersey, about, uh, let's say about a year ago, where we went into the schools with uh, some of our wrestlers. We actually bring legends like King Kong Bundy and Jimmy Snuka, get a chance for the kids to meet these legends and have the legends tell them, listen, don't do this end. Try not to try to be safe in the backyards and don't do these things what you see on TV. I'm a legend. I don't even know what I'm doing some of the time. But if you ask King Kong Bundy, he'll tell you that later on. Um, but yeah, so we, we that's one of the things that we do. We try to do some charity work for some events and things like that. Well done. Yeah. We, we'll, have, we'll have King Kong Bundy coming up on the daytime edition as well today. Did you hear that last slam that shook me up? Yeah, I'm hearing, I'm hearing a lot of groaning and moaning yeah. back there, Peter. Now, a good example is Christopher Rockwell, who's in the ring right. now, wrestling in this championship match. He was injured as, as a 15 year old in the backyard. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, Chris, and, uh, he was a big fan of ours, and uh, I had heard that he was hurt, and I was, of course, taken back by it because he was someone close to us. He wasn't just a uh, a fan or, a, a, you know, some fan of Florida. He was mm -hmm. the guy that came to my shows in, in New Jersey. Wow. And uh, when I heard about it, I said, you know, Chris, you got to do this the right way. Go down to ECPW, go down to Geno School. He knows what, he'll, he'll teach you the right way. Mm. And uh, so he took it to heart, and he's training, and he's wrestling in a U.S. title match behind us. Well, that's US pretty darn good. <laughs> All right, you know, we're going to get to the match. Um, you tell us you have come a couple yep. of events coming up, at least one. Yep, in September, we are doing something now, September 29th. Uh, it's our first television taping, local access. We're working with this entertainment group, Lost Soul Entertainment, and uh, it's going to be at the Knights of Columbus in Lindhurst, New Jersey. It's September 29th. It starts at 7 p.m. All right, All right let's take a look at what's going on here. Let's get ringside. This ringside. is it. We are going at it. The U.S. title match. Ow, that's going to hurt. Give us some play-by-play -play here, please. Unbelievable. Here we got Chris. Idol, what he calls himself now, not Chris Rockwell. He's giving some big boots there to Joey Image. Look at this one. Oh my God! I'm out. Oh, he's up! He's up! Come on, ref! What are you doing on that one? <laughs> the <tooth guy. laughs> you're giving the ref a hard time. And you oh, you, you always got to give the refs a hard time. You on the lead, you're allowed to give them a hard That's time. That's right. <laughs> I can fire him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the clothesline there. Oh. They call that the boss man slam. Ah. <laughs> they both got it on that yeah. one, huh, Peter? Boss man slam. Oh, almost there. <laughs> you guys want to count. There's no doubt about that. They went to three count. They don't need that five count like uh, King Kong Bundy used to. No, no they, they, they would be lucky to get a five count here in a match like this. Oh! No. oh. You need some serious training for that too. Yeah, absolutely. And this is, and the thing about it is, is these two kids actually, Joey Image and and Chris Rocco or Chris Idol, they graduated from Gino's junior program, and actually Chris is still in it. So um, I, I think we're coming to the end of this match here. I'm not like, so sure. Look, like we're coming to the end here. Their hands, though, they and love the count. They this love it. Oh. oh, he missed completely. This will be this will be a shocking victory here. The young man out of Jersey, trying to win the title. Here we go. This is, oh, that looks like his finisher. They call that the idolizer. I think here we go. The idol. One, two, three. We got a new champion. Hey Tony, why don't we go in there and award him the title? Wow, well done, well I think the done. Hey guys, way, great friend. job. We'll take the stairs over here, grab him the belt. Christopher, Chris Rockwell, Chris Idol. Idol, that's right. Change that name in the wrestling. He's got that title. Hey, Chris. Hey, hey, yo. Wow, easy now. Good job. Congratulations. How do you feel? I feel great. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. We've run out of time. Thank you all for being with us. Peter, thank you as well. Stay tuned to the daytime edition. As Peter mentioned, we are going to interview the king of the five counts. The legend. Bundy, the legend. Stay with us.